Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefined Horizons, and it's a cold, foggy day at the end of December here in Oakdale, California, and I wanted to do a couple quick videos for CAD Management Weekly. So uh, in this video, I want to show you guys kind of how we deal with large data sets uh, here at Redefined Horizons. So we, we're basically set up to work full remote. Uh, we do have uh, we do have a couple offices, but um, uh, all of our team members have the ability to work remote, and some of our team members work remote full time, and so that can cause some problems when you're dealing with large data sets uh, in CAD uh, or in your survey software. So for us, that is typically going to be ortho photos, UAV ortho photos, or point clouds, either from lidar or from uh, UAV photogrammetry. And uh, so those those data sets get a little bit large. Um, we also have some GIS data sets that get a little bit get a bit uh, large, uh, depending on the the data type. So I want to show you how we've set that up. So we we're set up to use OneDrive. So all of our job folders are on OneDrive, and all of our other business documents are on OneDrive. So anybody can access those files wherever they have an internet connection. Any of our employees. But what we do is uh, we have a special folder on the hard drives of all our CAD users um, called the local folder. Okay, and so this this doesn't apply to our non-technical folks. So our uh, you know our business administrative and and business development and marketing folks. Um, but for our technical users, they all have a folder um, called the local folder, and uh, we all have external. Uh, hard drives that we have mounted to our computers uh, that are and we, we use a common drive letter so in this case we use drive letter F you can see that here and um, so we put our OneDrive on that our one our local copy of our OneDrive folder goes on there and then this this other folder called local goes on there and so everybody's external hard drive is set up in the exact same way with the same file pass and so what I want to do is just kind of walk you guys through the local drive today and then show you I'm, I'm going to set up a system that will help us uh, track the updates because we're, we're having some issues with, with people, myself included, not always having a current uh, copy of what's supposed to be in the local drive. So in the, in the root of the local folder, there's three folders. There's a GIS folder, a jobs folder, and a software folder. So we'll, go, we'll cover software folder first. It's pretty quick. Um, it just has some of the different software that we use here that, that our CAD users need to get to. And these installers get pretty big, so that's why we're keeping them here and not on our OneDrive, main OneDrive folder, because we don't want the non-technical users plugging up their hard drives. Um, then we have this GIS folder. Uh, we don't have any vector data in here right now, but in the raster data, we do keep a copy of the USD Nate uh, ortho images. Uh, for the counties that we work in most frequently and we'll add some other stuff here we're gonna there's some usgs uh, high resolution urban imagery that'll be in here at some point and then the the main folder is in the jobs folder okay so now this mirrors what you're looking at right here in jobs active this mirrors the exact same naming convention and and folder structure that's in our main OneDrive folder on the cloud okay but the difference is the only thing that goes in these folders is our large data sets so and that's typically most of the time for us that's with our UAV so if you open this up this just has the folders that would normally uh, go in our UAV folder and um, it's got it's got all the big files okay and uh, you can just see some different examples of that here right in this particular job, we've got some GIS data instead of uh, the UAV data, but that's how we've set this up. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that whenever we update this, that folks can take a look and see what, uh, you know, make sure that their list matches this. And so to do that, I'm just going to take a, a couple screenshots here. Ooh, that's not the one I want, not the app I want. So I, I use this little app called Greenshot. It's pretty handy. And so I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, you know what, let me get the column headers there. So I'm gonna just capture an image for each of these subfolders. So 
So we're going to call this, this is the uh, jobs folder. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, get the software folder. Okay, we'll do more, one more. We want to um, get a snapshot of the uh, of the GIS folder here. Actually, the way I want to do that, I want to I'm going to do that over here because this is actually going to give folks a better view of what they need to have in this in this particular case since we've got some structure here. It's the GIS folder okay and uh, now that I have those I gotta remember where those oh, where those screenshots saved to So I'm going to grab those three screenshots, okay? And then I'm going to have a, we've got a, a folder uh, in our uh, OneDrive folder on the cloud under templates CAD. And I'm going to make a new folder in here and call it, uh, I'm going to call it uh, local folder management, LFM. And uh, we'll paste these screenshots in there, okay? So everybody can see what, what the current, structure is and then uh, I'm just gonna make a note a uh, new text file here oh that's not what I want and I'm gonna call this update this is called LFM updates okay and I'm gonna open this up here and this is just going to be a uh, a sequential description of changes to the file so that my users can open that open that up so I'll, I'll just give you an example I got some GIS data I need to move over here so let me plug that in So I've got some GIS data on this external hard drive here. So you can see I've got some additional counties here. So I'm going to just grab these and we're going to move them into that local folder. It's going to take it a, a minute to copy over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a note. I'm going to say um, added um, new USDA NAEP County Ortho Mosaics. That's what those are called. To the local GIS raster USDA Nate folder and then we're going to say created new county folders in local GIS Oop. raster USDA name folder. Okay, so just a little bullet list there of what we've done. So then the next, you know, the next update will go here. So let's say that's on the 28th. Yeah. Okay, then we'll save that. So uh, 
not only will we have the screenshots, but the uh, CAD users will be able to open that uh, text file up and kind of get the history. So I'm hoping that'll help our folks uh, stay a little more, keep their local folder a little more up to date. Hopefully you guys understand now why we use a local folder. That's where we keep our heavy data sets, GIS, uh, LiDAR, UAV data sets. And, and we do that because uh, we're trying not to fill up the hard drives. Well, two reasons. <laughs> One is we're trying not to fill up the hard drives of our non-technical users. So we buy some pretty heavy duty computers here for our CAD and GIS users. Um, and, and we all have two terabyte external drives. But you know, for our non-technical folks, they're going to be working on a less expensive laptop or desktop computer. And um, if we don't want to keep this data in our main OneDrive folder on the cloud because it would just it would fill up their hard drives, and we don't want to do that. So this is a nice way to keep it segregated. But the, one of the challenges you have then is you you got to make sure that your your technical users, your CAD users, and your GIS folks are keeping their drives local drives up to date. And so I've just thought I'd come up with a, a system today to kind of centralize that, and um, I'll set a calendar appointment to uh, make sure our technical users update that. Uh, make sure they they're updating that local folder once a month, and we can we do that either through, you know, uh, passing around a, a thumb drive or, uh, you know, setting up some specialized downloads on on a large file transfer site. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope hope that was helpful. Catch you on the next video.